when the Suhs escaped the brutality of the Korean War in 1951. They were just happy to survive. This is my younger brother. Later, they realized they might never see the siblings they had to leave behind. I started crying all the time. I was going crazy, running from one room to another, just crying, crying. I still feel that way. Mrs. So, who's 83, and Mr. So, who's 91, are hanging on to their Chicago home now, resisting a move to a nursing home for just one reason. We did not sell this house because we are waiting for our siblings, brothers and sisters from North Korea, and we wanted to have a house where they can live. Like the Suhs, Chahi Stanfield thought she'd only be separated from her father for a week or so when he sent the family away from the North some 60 years ago. She never saw him again, and still doesn't know if her brother, who also stayed behind, is still alive. We have lived with the black holes in our hearts. I can, I have stories to tell, I can tell, but millions of people took the stories with them. Over the past decade, there have been a handful of reunions amongst divided families in North and South Korea. But years ago, Stanfield made it her mission to get Korean Americans involved. She lobbied Congress and was able to get a law passed in 2009 that made Korean American reunions a top priority in the U.S.-North Korean relationship. And it looked like that goal was closer than ever by 2011. But then Kim Jong-il died and everything stopped. We were so close. It's just crashed. Their hopes are crashed again. And I was worried. You know, if they don't ho have hopes, they go. Stanfield says to be so close and not reach an agreement has been devastating. The gratitude she felt from divided families has been replaced by guilt. If we had started earlier, um, it could have happened by now. Sometimes I just, uh, you know, I cry. But I cannot sit down because there are still enough people there who believe in us. The Suhs try to console themselves by poring over old photos. And Stanfield learned years ago that the reason her father started running marathons in his 60s was just to get publicity in North Korea so that word would get out to his family in the South. He was going to run until he reunited with his family in South Korea. That reunion never happened. And now many Korean Americans are just hoping North Korea gets so desperate for U.S. aid that it will give in and allow the American reunions. I feel like I am being punished because I left them behind. If I meet them again, I will feel like I am reborn. But the families are desperate too, and time is not on their side. Andy Rosgen, Al Jazeera, Chicago.